In this video, I will show you how to change the name of your Roblox game in Roblox Studio. So let's jump straight into it. Of course, the first thing you're going to want to do is come across to roblox.com and log into your account. Next, what you want to do is come up to the top to these options and you want to click onto the create option up here. Now, what you need to do is go ahead and choose the game that you want to edit. So for this example, I'm just going to go ahead and open up this one. So you want to click onto the game itself and then press the blue edit in studio button over here. So what it's going to do is bring up a confirmation. All you want to do is click onto open Roblox and it's going to go ahead and open up your game in Roblox Studio. So here we are, as you can see, the game is just finishing loading up now. Now to go ahead and change the name of your game from here, it's actually very, very easy to do. What you want to do is wait for the game to finish loading through. And once that's finished loading, if you look at these options at the top, you've got one called game settings. So what you want to do is click onto this. And then from here, you're going to have this menu on the left hand side. So you want to make sure you're clicked onto the basic info option. And from here, you can go ahead and change the name of your game. You can also do things like change the description. And if you scroll down slightly, you can also add a game icon. Of course, you want to make sure that it's either J JPEG, uh, PNG, and of course that the recommended resolution is 512 by 512. Of course, this is going to get reviewed by moderators before being made public and visible to other users. So all you want to do is come to the top. So I'm going to change this from test to tutorial. And to confirm your changes, go ahead and click the blue save button down here. And that is all you need to do. So that's how to go ahead and change your name of your Roblox game in Roblox Studio. I hope this quick tutorial helped out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it if you were to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this quick tutorial and I will see you in the next video.